Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Crossover's Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Want to thank my sponsor today, Simply Safe. I got some new cubes. You've been, probably been seeing me feed a lot of cubes lately to our bison. Well, that's because we are in a drought and I've got to supplement them somehow. Yes, we're giving them hay, but also I want to give them just a little bit of extra roughage. Well, got some new cubes from a recommendation from a follower and I think I'm going to take it on. A little windy, see the clouds. You know what that means? We got some rain coming, which is exciting for the next three days. We've we've got some rain and hopefully get some of that moisture because we direly need it here bad here at the Cross Timbers Place. Something else I'm gonna do today is I've got some catching up to do on some welding. Got some gonna do some restructuring of our handling system here. We made some changes to our handling facility. Uh, in about three or four weeks, we're gonna be working our bison. So I've gotta do some last minute welds. I'm gonna put up some new gates, gonna cut down a new gate, gonna put up some sheet metal. I got a lot of work to do right over here in this handling facility to get it ready for our 2021 fall vaccinations. Got some exciting stuff happening. Um, some bison may be leaving the property um, whenever we work the bison. We'll keep you updated on that. Let's uh, go down in the pasture. We're actually gonna go check the big herd and see if they like the new cubes. Let's hop in the ATV. Coming, let's go. Some of them are eating it. Big Joe. Like, where's our normal cubes? Maya, what do you think? <laughs> That's a, I don't like being in here. Look, That's what that looks like to me, doesn't it? Well, some of them are eating it. Pretty good. What I like about the alfalfa cube, and these bison have never had alfalfa cubes before, but what I like about this cube is this is great roughage for the bison. It's 15% protein, about 33% fiber, so I'm getting a little bit more fiber. Normally I have 14% protein. This is a 14% cattle cube. You have seen me down here a lot more just because we're having to supplement feed these guys because there's not much grass at all because of the drought that we're in. Uh, looks like we're gonna get some rain here, hopefully. Looky here, there's the princess, Eleanor Cubes. Big Joe is not about it right now. He's probably a little upset at me. Oh, he ate it. He ate it that time. Let's see if Eleanor likes them. Eleanor, come here. Here. Is that a no? 
Okay. Come on. Peaches? Just <laughs> trying to figure it out. Feisty kit. Well, don't come at me. I'll throw it at you. Gripey. Well, she ate it. It's been a while since I put out some. Let's do that real quick. Fresh mineral in here. Put some tin fine in there. No garlic. I want to try something different from a recommendation from a follower. You know, I think probably what happened is they saw me up at Chad Kramer's place and he had a bulk order of alfalfa cubes and uh, his loved them. And I know a lot of guys feed alfalfa uh, hay. Uh, we don't. I may do that in the future, actually. It's got a lot more protein in it. It's great roughage. It's a little bit more expensive, obviously, than prairie or grass hay. So we may have to get into the alfalfa later on in the future. But I got to go up to the barn and get some welding work done. I got the welder I borrowed from my brother-in-law, Daniel. Before we get the bison worked, make a couple of last adjustments on it, put in some new gates and whatnot. So... Also, I gotta see if Dunbar will like these alfalfa cubes. We can't forget about Dunbar. So we're gonna stop and check Dunbar actually on the way back and see if he likes them. Who knows with that guy. I know you guys miss seeing Dunbar, but uh, we won't forget about him. We tried Eleanor. She really didn't like him that much. So take some time, but we'll get there. Before we head up that way, I wanna tell you about my sponsor today, Simply Safe. One of the reasons we were mostly interested in home security was you guys already know we've got a little munchkin running around you may see her in some of my videos she's getting into things she's wanting to run and go have fun and i love that it's important to have your home secure especially when you have a little one around one of the great things about simply safe setting this entire system up was so easy guys it walks you through it with the app i was very impressed with how everything was outlined you can do it on your phone you can do it with the keypad step-by-step -step process Everything goes back into your base station. Our base station is right in the center of our house. Some of the Simply Safe devices that we're using, which one I'm particularly excited about, is the outdoor security camera. One of my favorite parts of Simply Safe is this new outdoor wireless security camera. Guys, it's one of the easiest things to set up. But what I love about this is it comes with an easy, removable, chargeable battery. The best part about it, no cords, no outlets, no plug-ins took two screws to mount it's got a 140 degree view the fact that you just put a battery in it that blows my mind it's easy to use i love the door sensors as well as the outdoor security camera anytime those doors open you hear a beep sound they've got sensors to cover every window room door plus lots of great extras like water sensors glass break sensors smoke alarms carbon monoxide alarm a simply cam hd cameras doorbell cameras from there, your home is professionally monitored 24 7 if anything happens. Simply Safe's always on team will call authorities immediately. Simply Safe's interactive monitoring service begins at only 50 cents per day. Okay, guys, visit simplysafe.com backslash cross timbers to learn more and to get up to 30% off your Simply Safe security system. Let's go see what our boy thinks. What's up, big man? What do you think about this right here? Oh, interested? Maybe not. Let's take a try a little piece. Oh, he says. Well, that was a success. We ate that one. Here, keep trying it. See what you think. Sure. 
Here, I won't forget about you. Taking a little longer to eat these. <laughs> you don't know what to think, do you? Getting big. Okay. Dunbar's taking it on. That a boy. A little bit better than Big Joe at it. Well, there you go. Dunbar likes him a little bit better than Big Joe. Not a visitor here. I got a question for you guys. I've been wanting to ask you this. Okay? Leave a comment below. Are you Team Dunbar? Are you Team Big Joe? Or are you Team Eleanor? I was, I've been curious guys. I've got something coming for you and you're gonna be able to pick what team you're on. I know you're a big fan of Cross Timbers, the entire herd uh, and all of them. But I know some of you love Eleanor. I know some of you love Dunbar, my guy who's been with me the whole time and Eleanor's been with me the whole time. Or do you love the big majestic Big Joe? Team Joe, Team Dunbar, or are you Team Eleanor? Leave a comment below. You know I love them all, so I can't just pick one. You know, Eleanor's the sweetest, but Dunbar is, he's my guy. He's been with me the whole time. He's been great. Big Joe, he's new to the place, so, but he's big, he's pretty, and he's a good bull, so you guys let me know what you think. Not quite sold yet. How are you, Dunbar? I got pulled the welder in here. I'm gonna get to working on this handling system. Let you guys know I safely got through the gate and our boy here, Eleanor's bull, did not sneak through this time. What do you got on your side there? Yeah, look at that, what is that? Okay, up here in the area, took down all that black. My wife and I started putting the rubber up here, the rubber siding. This is a conveyor belting. Uh, we've got a video coming out about that here later on, but gonna finish conveyor belting this. I'm gonna put a new gate in right here and take this old panel down. We just had to rig this up so we could get easy access from our working area into this area, just in case we had to push the bison. So in case you guys didn't know, this is what I call the corral area, main area. What we do is the bison come through here and then they go down the uh, alley, sort of, um, right here. They'll go down this way, come around. We'll put them in these two holding slots. We weigh them right here and then we actually work them right there. So <laughs> you guys don't remember, this is the uh, Big Joe gate. Uh, that he demolished and uh i just put this gate on and he tore it apart pretty quick he was mad at us but uh you know we got him worked and uh you probably can't see the actual damage but uh it's bent pretty good right here in the middle so unfortunately i've got to cut it off i'm gonna cut it off right here and here and uh yeah that'll be fun getting that off I'm gonna run over it with the tractor. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, Kevin, it was Kevin's idea to run over this, try to flatten it out, see if it'll work. So we uh, we may try that, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna take this old crappy gate off of here. It's no good anymore. I contemplated on taking it off last spring, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it off there now. So, and then also I've got to put on a new piece of sheet metal right here to finish this out. So this is solid, cause there's a lot of banging around in here and uh this is where it gets pretty tight so um we gotta put another sheet of metal here this is in the way i gotta saw that sucker off and then we'll put it right here lots of talking and not enough working let's get to work Come on.
Well, that just kind of worked out perfectly. It just stopped right there and landed. <laughs> so I was trying to clean up uh, the cutoff some. Need to grind that off, but it came off pretty good. I saved some hinge off of it so we could possibly use this gate again somewhere, but I'll pull it out and then eventually we'll try to run over it with a tractor and maybe the neighbor's tractor is the biggest tractor around here and see if we can flatten it out and use it again. But uh, one gate down, onto this one right here. Woo. Gate number two down. Thanks for the help, Maya. Did great. Yeah, this was, this actually gate, this gate here was actually left over from the dairy barn from a long time ago that uh, before mom and Kevin bought this, uh, it was already here, which is a lot of all this is existing from an old dairy farm. Like I said, I took this up last year and raised it up higher on both sides here. I raised it up, but this is the original dairy barn. So that's an original dairy barn gate. No telling how old that is. And it's been up there that long, but it was time to go. Not good enough for bison. It needs to be more like that. You guys probably wondering what the bucket was for that's a nice prop right there <laughs> so uh, we like to hang our gates 10 to 11 inches high so uh obviously this is not straight but it helps to have a bucket in the middle so we can when you're by yourself you got to learn how to use props and to hold stuff up so that's uh that's what i'm using the good old welding bucket for it's got all the good essentials in there so yeah anyways gotta line my hinges up Gonna cut a hole in there so that hinge can go in there and uh, be good. So with these guys, if you haven't seen these type of hinges, uh, here, I don't know, in the past couple years I've noticed down here, they've been building them with an, a hinge already attached. So with this hinge, you can slap it up against this if you want, or you can cut a slot into your metal like this and then you can slide your hinge into it. And so what I'll do is I'll go back through here and bead this up and weld this four inch pipe to that hinge. They even have uh, grease inserts on them most of the time. These are nice gates, they're heavy duty. That's what I like about them is they are heavy duty for bison. And uh, sometimes you just gotta rig up whatever you can do to get your height, <laughs> get your balance. We're pretty close right there, I'll take it we'll get this little six footer hung up. That's how you do stuff when you're by yourself. <laughs> I think she's pretty level, but uh... oh, it's hitting that right now. I gotta move that trough, but she's swinging. That's the way we want it. Needs a little grease on her. That's it. Six foot gate is hung. Gotta stay. Pulling this old gate out. Got a lot done today. Tried some alfalfa cubes with the bison for the first time. Got two gates cut off. Hung a six foot gate right down here. 
Got to finish putting up the rest of it. I'm going to show you how we do this with my wife and I for another video coming up here soon. Got another sheet of metal here to finish making this completely solid. So I'm going to put one more gate here. Um, got a couple more things to do, but I'm going to wrap that up for today. Thank you guys for watching us. Don't forget to answer the question. Are you Team Big Joe, Team Dunbar, or Team Eleanor? Thank you guys for watching us. Still got a lot of work to do. We're getting closer to getting ready to work these bison for our fall handling. Thank you guys for watching us.